the New York wins the tip. Curry looking it over. Giannis outside. And it's Beal in the corner. That one's in. His first shot this game. Yeah, offensively, Beal is a smooth operator. Morant outside. And the layup's good off the glass. Yeah, I'm amazed at Morant's ability to take contact and, and still stay in full control. You can see, and coach, you can feel John Morant's star power and his presence on the floor is such a factor. It affects the game. Yeah, it sure does. And it even affects the energy in the building. His play is so dynamic, athletic, energetic. I mean, you can't sit and watch a jaw game. He's going to get you on your feet. He is one of a kind for sure. Here's Jokic. Beal pulls it in. Outside Curry. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And many around the league believe Curry doesn't get enough fouls called in his favor. Uh, G.A., what do you think? There could be some truth to that. He gets held and grabbed more than anyone when running off screens, but especially blatant on drives to the rim. We expect nothing less. He's generally been very good at the line. George looking around. To the left wing. From deep, Jokic. It's rebounded by New York. Carter drives in. Lots of momentum on Carter's drive. The, the defense can't. Keep up, and he ends up getting the foul. Second team. New York shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. That free throw missing. And New York making a change here. Good on the second free throw. You know, you were talking about Giannis. He can put up 30 a game without taking many shots from the perimeter. And that's a tall order these days, especially because he gets doubled every single time. He gets it in there. Moran using that quickness to his advantage. That time he gets that one to fall. Here's Curry. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag and, and where's the help defensively well when you are the aggressor this early it is intimidating chalk up two there and with his strength george is not your average swing player he can get his in the paint beal from long range traps in the tray beal's got five a lot of give and take between these sides early. And both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. Outside, George. Shot clock at six. Takes it inside. Robinson with the block. Harder on the wing. Outside, Beal. Another shot, and the layup is good. He has seven. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. If he gets into a good rhythm early, watch out. New York leading by four. Outside Curry. Outside Beal. That one goes. Count it. And Curry isn't just a lights-out scorer. He's also efficient at moving the ball and getting it to his teammates. From deep, George. It's rebounded by New York. 
Here's Curry. Curry. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. Well, look, we've seen that no lead is safe these days. you got to keep scoring and extending that margin. Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for New York. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with it. At the end of the first quarter, with the score. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for New York. Well, a lot of times you'll hear coaches yell, get the ball inside, and you can see why. Good things happen when you get the ball into the paint. And I also like how they've trusted one another with the rock, creating shots by keeping the ball moving. Jacksonville needs to get off a shot. From deep, George. Rebounded by Howard. New York leading by nine. Back to Booker. Tatum on the wing. Fires for three. Devin Booker, three right down the hatch. Every chance he gets, Booker willing to take that shot. A consistent three-point shooter. G.A., when we think about Devin Booker's scoring ability, he always has been ahead of the curve. The, the youngest player ever to score 70 in a game, amongst the youngest to get to 10,000 points, Booker is on a historic scoring pace. Outside curve for the three. At this time, his first miss in three attempts from the field. Jacksonville trails by 10. Mark. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. And with great positional size, Martin with the ability to close in and finish like he did there. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. It's hauled in by George. Martin wide open. He fires. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. New York leading by eight. Here's Booker, and it's good off the back rim and in. Booker's got five points now this quarter. And that's lethal. I love how Booker's eyes light up when he gets a mid-range opportunity. And timeout is called by Ime Udoka. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Here's Williams. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Williams is a baller. He, he's an exciting player to watch. Fantastic passer and shooter. And both free throws good for Williams. Two minutes remaining in the first. And so James will bring it up for New York. They've held a 12-point lead early. New York moving it around. Outside Irving. Launches a three. Rebounded by Jacksonville. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. KD's shot is off. New York leading by eight. And Embiid with the block. And how about the anticipation from the big fella? Embiid is one of the league's premier shot blockers. Five on the clock. Back to Gilgis Alexander. It's over Embiid. And the basket by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got his first points in this one. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Here's Carter. And finished off by Carter. And this is why he's called insanity. Some of Carter's throwdowns are downright vicious. Outside Williams. Over LeBron. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. New York with the ball. Pass to Irving. 
And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. As dynamic with the ball as anyone in the league. Kyrie there earning a trip to the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Greg, you love this topic more than anyone when you think about the best ball handlers of all time. Where does Kyrie Irving rank on your list? 